I'm going to talk about something different today for my MedTech rep friends that I don't normally talk about. Real estate. Now, you might be thinking, why the hell is Mace talking about real estate? Because real estate, or I should say the real estate industry right now, represents a great example of something that can happen to people in any sales industry, including the medical device industry. I always talk about the importance of being prepared for life's unplanned events, especially career events. And while I think that your career in med tech sales is secure, depending on certain circumstances, what you do, how you adapt moving forward, it's always good to be prepared for when the proverbial you know what hits the fan. Because trust me, one day it's going to hit the fan as it just did for real estate agents. So let me explain. Real estate agents who traditionally have always been paid a commission on both the seller's side of the balance sheet and the buyer's side of the balance sheet. In other words, a seller's agent would get some percentage. Uh, up until now, it's the average has been 6% total. So if you sell your house, you're giving up 6% in commissions to real estate agents, usually with 3% going to the, the listing agent and 3% going to the buyer's representative agent. The National Association of Realtors just entered into a settlement where sellers who list their house on the multiple listing services will no longer be forced to offer the buyer's agent 3%. If you're buying a home, you can negotiate with an agent to represent you separately, and I'm sure there'll be lots of models coming out. But I want you to think about this for a second. The thing with real estate is that if somebody bought a house and you helped either as the listing agent or as the buyer's agent, you were probably going to get a commission, some portion of a commission. I know a certain percentage goes to the broker and a certain portion goes to the agents, whatever but you are pretty much guaranteed of getting a nice fee, especially if you consider that the average home in America right now is somewhere in the range of $425,000 to $450,000. So that's a nice $15,000 or $16,000 commission being paid as the buyer's representative. In other words, if you're the agent who likes to take people around and show them houses because you've served them all in the past and when they buy a house, they call you, well, now you're going to have to negotiate how you're going to be compensated up front because chances are that your commission may not have been pre-negotiated by the seller. The person who's selling the house cannot guarantee a commission for the person who's buying the house. But regardless of how you look at it, it is believed by real estate industry experts that up to half of the 1 million real estate agents in America are going to leave the industry. Why? Because it just got harder for them to make money. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, because one day there could be a significant change in this industry, in the med tech industry. We don't know if it'll happen, when it'll happen, or even what it will be. There's a lot of hypotheticals out there. We've already seen what happens when commissions are cut. You may have experienced that if you've been in this industry long enough. I promise you, you've experienced it. Whoever you work for or whoever provides you with a product line can and does cut commissions over time. It just seems to happen. Rarely will you hear about a manufacturer raising commissions because they just want to be good guys and support their sales team who really puts bread and butter on the table for them. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen very often. But what happens if there's a major change in how goods and services are paid for in healthcare. We've seen Congress and presidents try to enact such changes in the past. It can and probably will happen in the future. What happens, for example, if the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid suddenly decide that they are not going to pay for one of your products or one of your services anymore? That if a patient wants it or if a provider wants to use it on a patient, the patient's going to have to pay out of their own pocket. And that means that you're probably going to lose sales, maybe all your sales, if the expense is significant. Now, again, I don't know if this is going to happen, but the point is, if you're in sales today, especially with the advent of artificial intelligence, and it's actually been around for 10 years or longer, but now it's becoming mainstream in our world, and AI 2.0 is already starting to emerge or will emerge shortly. I listen to what the experts tell me. But the thing is, it's pretty definite that in the future, 
the role for many salespeople is going to change. It's going to be redefined. That doesn't mean you won't have a job. It doesn't mean you won't have a great paying job. But how you function and what you do may be different. And it's possible you might not want to do it. Or there may not be a job for you. Your particular job may go away. Now is the time to plan for that. I like to ask the question, you're a successful sales rep, you're doing well. Right now you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s. What's your exit strategy? They don't have an exit strategy. Or their exit strategy is, well, one day I'm going to retire. That's great. We're all going to retire one day, either voluntarily or involuntarily. And retire can mean that you just stop working and you go out and play golf or go fishing or sit around and stare at the trees blowing in the wind because you don't have anything else to do. The point is, is that you have to have an exit strategy for when you are suddenly forced to exit or you decide to exit prematurely before you plan. And as a sales representative, you have so many skills, especially as a med tech device sales representative. And I know because I've done this, you are able to reinvent yourself. You have number one, you have sales skills. Selling skills are one of the greatest. And if you look at the entire world population, one of the rarest skills in existence. Most people don't know how to sell. You know how to do that. You have people skills. You know how to deal with difficult people because a lot of times doctors and other busy healthcare professionals can be difficult. They are manning the controls for a life and death situation that we call healthcare. You know how to navigate this. You probably have negotiation skills. Chances are over the years you've learned how to use different tools, video, social media, you have a lot of skills, you have a lot of knowledge, and you have a lot of expertise. It is possible for you to create a side hustle to hedge your bets. This is why I created something called Rep Reinvention. And while I'm not here to promote it, what's happened in the real estate world has shown me that now is a good time to at least make you aware of it. I got a way for you to start getting the gears in your head turning to get those ideas flowing because now is the time to be thinking about these things. I am not encouraging you to quit your job. I am not encouraging you to do something else. I am encouraging you to have a plan if the unplanned happens to you, where you have something to fall back on, where you have a semi-passive stream of income that will protect you and your family until you either establish another full-time stream of income or until you're able to turn this semi-passive stream of income into something that can sustain you. I created a free 38-page special report. You can get a copy of it by going to repreinvention.com. It's called How to Go from High-Earning Sales Rep to Successful Infopreneur Without Quitting Your Day Job. There's a lot of information in there. If you go to the website, repreinvention.com, it'll tell you all about it. But just to get your ideas flowing, and don't misunderstand me, I am still fully committed, fully engaged for medical sales professionals in the med tech industry because I think it's an awesome place to be. But I wouldn't be doing the full job if I didn't share with you the possibilities about what can happen in the future and how you should be prepared for them. So check it out now, repreinvention.com. You can comment if you like. I know a lot of you don't want to comment because you don't want to communicate to your companies that, hey, you're thinking about reinventing yourself or doing something else. That's not what this is about. I'm going to help you to do all you can to earn as much as you can as a medical sales professional. I am committed to that. But I am also committed to helping you reinvent yourself from sales representative to digital entrepreneur when that time comes. RepReinvention.com. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts. I'm here to help. If you want to reach out to me, mace at maceharoff.com. Let me know your thoughts.